Land-dwelling species compensate as much as possible for high levels of salt by drinking fresh water. But only salt water is available to the flightless cormorant. All of their food comes from the sea and it is captured underwater. How then can they eliminate that excess salt? And how is this achieved by all those mammals and invertebrates whose diet comes exclusively from the ocean? Along the rough coastline of the Galapagos, we find some eye-catching answers. This is the area preferred by Sally Lightfoot crabs, the most efficient scavengers on these shores. These crabs have lived in the ocean for as far back as they can trace their family tree. Solving the problem of salt levels before the iguanas or cormorants even arrived on the islands has allowed them to improve their mechanisms even further, reaching high levels of sophistication. Rather than sneezing to expel excess salt, the crabs use a kind of jet propulsion. As for the birds, they opted for a less colorful method. Their desalinating glands lead to a channel that runs to the end of their beaks, allowing for a continuous saltwater drip. All three methods lead to the same result. All different, but all equally effective. This extraordinary example of life's ability to adapt is a showcase for the perfect way of ensuring one's own survival, evolution.